you have your web page built. Now one thing you want to do before you publish your page to the internet to your server is you want to validate and make sure your code's good because code missing tags or whatnot, code errors cause problems with browser display. So here at WC3, W3.org, validator.w3.org, you can run your code through here and it will let you know of any errors. And uh, just, I, I purposely created an error to show you on this. If you'll notice, it starts right here. Everything is uh, bold. Now, what I did is I left off a closing strong tag. I already know that, but for the purposes of this, when you notice you have an error, something's wrong. W, the, the validator in it that's built into Dreamweaver is a good way to find that quickly. You go to Window, Results, Validation, and then you click right here and you validate the current document. And it's going to say, all right, we're going out to the Internet. It's going to the W3 site that I just showed you. It's the same validation. And you'll notice here quickly, it shows me some errors that I have. Uh, 395, it says there's a P tag. Let me see here. What's it saying? It's saying in P tag scene, but open elements. So let's see what we got here. There's a P. And it's closing there. So why is it doing that? Okay, I see. So, so all right. So we see we have a, a NP tag scene, but there were open elements. I can see right now this. I just by look, I can tell the structure properly. But this is also where the error comes in, which should be the next one here. The strong tag, the un unclosed element, strong. This should fix all the problems. So if I go, let's see, I got P strong span span. Going backwards. Strong. That should fix that. And we go to save that. And we're going to refresh this. Look at it again. Okay, obviously that fixed. Putting that in there fixes. So we're going to just validate again. This you can ignore. This has to do with the Google search box that uh, is included with the page. The W3, WC3 validator does not understand the Google search box there. And this here, it's an error says that's thrown whenever you have more than one heading one tag. I don't know why it's thrown it. None of my pages have more than one heading one tag. I do know it's still experimental according to their website for HTML5. So that may be the issue. Sometimes it tells me that. Sometimes it don't. It's kind of weird. But anyhow, it does check for errors in your code. And once you're error free, and again, these are things I can ignore. Uh, but once you're error free, put your pages to the site, and you'll know you're not going to have browser issues because of bad code. Now, you may have browser issues because of the browsers themselves, how old they are, or whatnot. But it won't be because of bad code, errors in your code. If, you, if this video helped you, uh, how about give me a like, a comment, share. Visit www.skeeterz71.com for more free videos on web design and graphic design. You have a good day.